So we have an update on the AMD Navi GPU front. We've been informed that AMD has finalized the first Navi design and codenamed it Navi 12. We also know that the GPU will have 40 compute units. If the ratio of stream processors in the CU is the same as that of GCN, then you're looking at 64 compute units each for a grand total of 2,560 stream processors. This is going to be positioned as the upgrade path from Polaris 30 and will probably feature in the Radeon 600 series. Now off the bat, we can tell you that Navi 12 is an odd code name. We expected AMD to launch with Navi 10, but that does not seem to be the case. AMD's nomenclature is based on the timeline at which the dies were designated, and what this essentially means is that AMD is not quite ready to roll out Navi 10 just yet, which is good news since Navi 12 appears to be a continuation of the mainstream upgrade path that Polaris series has become famous for. Now you might remember our old exclusive in which we revealed that we don't expect a flagship GPU from AMD until the year 2020. We also talked about how Vega was designed specifically for Apple and Navi was designed specifically for the Sony PS5 and the question that we immediately thought was whether this is the GPU that we can expect to see featured and the answer is no. The Navi 12 is not going to be the GPU that gets featured in the PlayStation 5. It is a derivative of the actual Navi die and has been created specifically so AMD can go to market for PC audience primarily. We've also been told that Navi will be a new microarchitecture, so gone is GCN. This is going to be the same IP that powers the succeeding Navi dies. Now, we do not know that Navi 12 GPU now we do know that Navi 12 GPU will have 40 compute units, but what we do not know is if they're going to have the same number of stream processors as GCN does. However, if that were the case, we're looking at 2560 pro stream processors. And that does seem likely to be the case because from what we've heard, the card slots in somewhere around the Vega 56, depending on the clock rate, but coming in much cheaper. We don't have a concrete timeline for the part, but early estimates put it in the first half of 2019. Now AMD could choose to accelerate this part while they work on Navi 10 or 20. As we've previously mentioned, the true Titan killer from Radeon will not be landing anytime soon, and early estimates put it the beefy Navi 20 somewhere around the year 2020, and at this early in the life cycle, these timelines can vary widely. Now, just a quick one, AMD Roadmap TLDR, as we've heard, AMD 7 nanometer Vega will not be coming to gamers. Navi 12 will be the first Navi part to arrive and will be landing sometime in the first half of 2019. Navi 10 has either been scrapped or will follow later sometime in late 2019 or early 2020, depending on a couple of factors. And the performance level of this part will be equivalent to Vega and will be based on the small GPU on seven nanometers. Navi 20 is going to be the true high-end GPU built on seven nanometer node. And as things stand right now, you're tentatively looking at it landing sometime around late 2020 or early 2021. Navi will also be the first architecture to transition away from GCN. Next generation architecture is the UARCH formerly codenamed Kuma internally before AMD decided it didn't like that name too much. Uh -oh. And will be based on the same brand new major architecture that AMD rolls out with Navi. So there you have it guys, that's the details that we have so far on what to look forward to with AMD's upcoming Navi architecture. So let us know what you'd like to see, what your expectations are, what some of your concerns are. Love to hear all of those down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so that maybe, just maybe, we don't miss you in the next one.